welcome back to the channel guys someone requested for me to basically show off my blue yeti microphone settings now i use obs to achieve the mic settings that you normally hear but this is the blue yeti without any custom filters or any tweaks so you're going to hear some background noise you're going to hear maybe some mouse clicking maybe some keys being pressed on the keyboard so it isn't the best experience without tweaking and I'm going to show you exactly what it can sound like if you take the time to add a few filters via OBS so I'm just gonna play the game very quickly um, just so you guys can listen to how the mic sounds without any filtering or anything like that it's gonna start some trouble So you might hear my mouse come through the the gameplay now, possibly. You might hear some fans in the background. So I'm running two PCs at the moment, one for capture and one for playing. You may even hear some background noise from um, outside because I have my window open. All of these things you can erase with some OBS settings. So I'm just going to get away from the police now and then I will uh, enable my normal settings and you guys will be able to hear the difference okay I think that's a long enough sample for you guys to see what the mic sounds like at stock so I'm just gonna pause it now and I'm gonna change or I'm just going to enable my microphone settings so this is me back with the microphone settings enabled via OBS and it makes a world of difference you shouldn't be able to hear any background noise you shouldn't be able to hear anything from in my room in terms of maybe fan noise from any of my PCs any clicking from my mouse any uh, sounds from my keyboard and um, you can really make the Blue Yeti sound a lot better if you take the time to just add a few custom filters in OBS. So what I'm going to do after playing for just a few moments longer so you guys can really sample the difference. I'll show you the settings I'm using now. I'm not making a tutorial on how to best set up your mic or what the settings do and why I'm using them. There's a video I can link that taught me how to do it. So it's all secondhand knowledge i'm just going to show you the settings i'm using maybe it will be helpful to you maybe it won't but hopefully it will all right let me take out this ncpd okay got a few more over here You guys tried to come up in full force. Man, I'm running out of ammo for almost every gun that I have. Really need to stock up. Anyway, I think you guys get the point. Um, so, I'm going to exit the game now. And I'll show you what settings I'm using um, via OBS. Okay, guys, now I'm at my desktop. Let's load up OBS. The first thing you want to do is add an audio input capture to your sources. This usually will be blank if you've never used OBS before. So just right click, add and click audio input capture. This will have a microphone icon next to it. So it makes it nice and simple. Once you've done that, you want to click the three little dots just next to the volume icon and you want to click properties. You want to make sure you select the microphone that you're using. For me, it would be the microphone Blue Yeti, but it just says Yeti Stereo, but that, that is the Blue Yeti as it shows up on my PC. So click OK. So you've added your audio source. You've made sure that the microphone is coming out or going into that audio source. So that's basically step one. Now what you want to do is add some filters. And all you got to do is click filters while the source is selected, which will be the audio source. and 
usually this will be blank but because i've added all of the filters that i wish to use there is a few filters here on display what do you want to do is just click the plus button and the first thing you want to add is noise suppression now noise suppression is responsible for filtering out all of that unwanted background noise like mouse presses um keyboard noise anything in the background other than your voice is unwanted generally so that's what this does now you can choose between the SPEEX, which is the low quality version uses lower cpu usage so maybe if you've got a lower end cpu and you're worried about using too much of your resources this would be a better setting for you but if you've got a capable cpu choose the rn noise versions a higher quality noise cancellation method i'm using a ryzen 9 7900x 3d so i've got plenty of um, resources available so no issue for me then you want to add a free band equalizer now i'm not going to go into what this does these are the settings i'm using i'm going to link you to a video that taught me how to do this and, it, and that person explains in great detail what all of these settings do so these are the settings i'm using copying them if you wish you also want to add an expander loads of settings for you to go through here i would suggest tweaking it to suit your environment you may have a quieter environment than me the next thing you want to add is a compressor again the video i'm going to link you to will explain what these filters do in great detail and finally you want to add a limiter now a limiter is useful because he kind of keeps your voice to one and a constant level so if i'm live streaming and i suddenly get excited or angry about something i've just seen maybe i shout maybe i raise my voice and that kind of be uncomfortable for headphone users and just general um so this kind of keeps your voice at a constant audio level and uh just improves improves the experience for everyone and finally you've got all your obs filter settings but you don't want to use obs how do i use these settings for my mic in other programs well you're going to need to download the virtual audio cable software once you've done that and installed it all you have to do then is click settings go to audio and then go down to advanced choose the monitoring device as the virtual audio cable this is what's going to take your mic settings and basically transport them as the input to any other program you're going to use second thing you want to do is click on those three dots again next to the volume icon go down to advanced audio properties under the setting audio monitoring you want to choose monitoring and output now you want it to say definitely want it to say output because that's what's going to basically export what you're saying or whatever you're putting into the import in obs to uh, the other software you want to use now in my situation now i have audacity i have audacity up and you can see it's capturing all my input and all you make sure all you got to do is make sure your audio source is uh, the virtual cable rather than your yeti and that's pretty much it that's how you do it you can use this method with any other software like i don't know um GeForce experience if you recapture your videos on that or use discord or any other program it will work the same way so hopefully this was helpful um not a tutorial really to explain what the settings do but more of just showing off my settings because that is what that person requested and hopefully this might be interesting or useful to anyone else that has a blue yeti condenser usb mic so thanks for watching guys and i'll see you in the next video